I am an expert at ruining lives. After all, I did it to myself for years. I know exactly how it's done. To this day, I still reap the benefits of trying my best to ruin my life years ago. Here is how to ruin your life in three simple steps and it only takes one to three months. Welcome to the movement. I don't help men find and fulfill their purpose in life. Step one, having fun. Whoever you are, whatever you believe in, you cannot deny that we all deserve to enjoy our lives. And all of us try our absolute best to enjoy our lives. And what is the best way to enjoy your life? What? Come on, come on, bro. Tell me, what is the best way to enjoy life? Obviously, to stay at home, consume content and have fun. What could be more fun than clicking buttons and looking at pixels on a screen? I cannot imagine anything more fun than that in my life. So, of course, you have to stay home and consume content. Because what can be more fun than simulating life instead of living it? Nothing. So the first step, of course, to ruining your life is to stay at home and consume content, play video games, watch porn, simulate existence instead of actually living it. That's the best way to ruin your life. Back in the day when I was really good at ruining my own life, I used to do this all day. Instead of going out with friends or doing anything productive, I would sit at home, come back from school, sit at home, play video games all day, watch porn, and then repeat the cycle. I wouldn't want to live. Why the fuck would I go outside if I wanted to ruin my life? What's the fucking point of living real life if you can just fucking simulate it on a screen? But there is an extra benefit of consuming content and having fun at home. There is an extra benefit. It keeps you completely demotivated to do anything which allows you to freely ruin your life. Bro, I'm so enthusiastic about this. Consuming content, simulating life, strips you of any emotions. It overstimulates your brain, making you feel numb to life, which keeps you demotivated, which freely allows you to do nothing and ruin your life. Again, why would you do anything else if you can simulate your entire existence from the comfort of your home? Why would you go get a girlfriend if you can just watch porn? Why would you get money if you can just play GTA and get rich in GTA? Why play sports when you can just watch sports? What's the fucking point of going out of your home? The best way, hands down, this is step number one, but it's like the most crucial step. The most crucial step towards ruining your life is to please stay at home and consume content while other people are living. And this will keep you demotivated. It will keep you in a rut, which allows you to like do nothing with your life. And this is the best way to ruin it, by doing nothing. Of course, that's what I did for years. I told you already, I'm an expert at this. I spent so many years ruining my life simulating existence while my peers were going out, having a social life, doing stuff, learning social skills. I was so afraid to go outside and do anything that I would just stay at home. In this way, I was ruining my life. It was amazing. And this put me in a rut. It made me depressed, super demotivated to live. It made me nihilistic. And that's great. That's perfect for ruining your life. So if this so if this is what you want, you've come to the right place. You can ruin your life right here, right now. You have the best tips. And let's be honest, it's not fun to find your goals. It's not fun to achieve your goals. It's not fun. As I said earlier, it's not fun to go out and get a girlfriend in real life when you can just fucking simulate it and play a video game where you have a girlfriend. It's not fun to do any achievement, any hard work Oh, you have to put in 5-10 hours a day working on something to achieve it when in a video game you can literally spend 30 minutes and you're already at the top of the world. Why would I spend 10 years becoming a millionaire in real life? Why would I work so hard doing boring shit when I can just play GTA and become a millionaire in GTA and steal cars and do, do everything I want? It's so boring to be achieving your goals in life. It's the most boring thing in the world, believe me. I'm in this position right now when I'm, I don't know why I'm doing it, 
but I'm fighting hard to achieve my goals every day and it's boring I'm proud of myself and you know my life is going in a great direction instead of ruining it Ugh. maybe I should go back to the state or the time where I just did nothing all day because you know achieving your goals it's too good to be true so maybe I should just go back to you know not doing anything all day step two living in ignorance what is the greatest human state imaginable what is the greatest state of mind ignorance not knowing about how big and beautiful the world is not knowing what to do with your life with your one and only life is the best possible state imaginable having this fog in your head and having no idea what to do having no clarity on life is the best way to ruin your life because this way you cannot set any goals and you cannot be sure about doing anything so of course you should live in ignorance I used to be ignorant I avoided books like the plague you know I was an expert at this I avoided any educational videos I avoided everything that could possibly like give me any knowledge about the world that was useful to me I avoided I stayed and consumed entertainment instead why would I read a book written by a philosopher or by a scientist why would I watch a video by someone who knows their shit when I can just play video games when I can just watch and consume entertainment after all learning shit it's uncomfortable it hurts your brain so of course you want to stay ignorant and you want to stay lost in life not knowing what to do so please do not read any books I'm warning you right now if you read books you're gonna start learning things about the world and you start setting new goals and if that happens you're not ruining your life so please don't read any books because ignorance allows you to fail all your goals free you don't even have to know about it if you don't know your goals obviously you're gonna fail all of them if you don't know what to do in life ob obviously you're gonna fail which is amazing that's what we're trying to do we're trying to ruin our lives for a long time I did not know my purpose in life for years I was stuck I didn't know what to do with my life why because I never read any books I never found any information that was useful to me so I could find something useful to do with my life and that was amazing you know I wish I could go back to the time where I was an ignorant little shit and I didn't know what to do with my life I wish I could go back to the time where I could not read a single page of a book that would be that would be amazing because knowledge is poison it gives you clarity you know which this clarity in life knowing what to do makes you get up and do stuff and that's exactly the opposite of what we want we want to ruin our lives we cannot have knowledge in our head we cannot have clarity and a direction in life are you crazy you're gonna start fixing your life this way I mean how could I start reading philosophy how could I start exploring successful people how could I explore self-improvement when I could have just stayed ignorant done nothing all day and ruined my life so please please do not get knowledge do not consume information that is actually useful in your life keep consuming video games keep consuming retarded social media posts on TikTok keep consuming gaming videos on YouTube or reaction fail videos keep doing that do not consume any valuable and useful knowledge because it will fix your life step 3 staying in your comfort zone think about it what maniac what absolute crazy lunatic would want to leave the comfort zone after all it's the comfort zone where you are comfortable why would you want to leave the comfort zone I used to stay in my comfort zone all day you know that that was one of the best things I did to ruin my life I stayed in my comfort zone I stayed the same person I wasn't facing any of my fears 
I played video games all day and it was amazing. I was ruining my life at a very fast speed. You know, one to three months, that's all it takes. Do these three steps for three months. I guarantee you, you will be ruining your life at full speed. It's amazing. And of course, that's what I did. You know, because leaving the comfort zone makes you grow as a person. And I did not want to grow as a person. I, I did not want to change. Change was, change is painful. Changing yourself, changing your life, it's very painful. It hurts. So why would you want to leave the comfort zone? To get hurt? To suffer? No. You should keep running from pain. Because pain hurts. Yeah, it changes you, whatever. You don't want to change, you want to ruin your life. So please, at every opportunity, keep running from pain. Hide from pain, hide from suffering, hide from all your fears. Please do not, at any cost, go out of your comfort zone. Never go out of your comfort zone if you want to fix your life. Because the comfort zone will keep you warm and safe and you won't suffer there. Right? And you're very happy with ruining your life. And if you leave the comfort zone, you would have to work hard. And you cannot work hard because you end up achieving your goals and fixing your life. People who work hard and go out of their comfort zone every day to do tasks that might seem difficult, those people achieve their goals. They don't have a ruined life. Don't listen to these types of people. Please, if you want to ruin your life, you cannot allow yourself to work hard. At my peak, when I was really ruining my life, when I was really depressed, nihilistic, considering suicide, at my absolute fucking peak of depression and social anxiety and everything, I stayed in my comfort zone all day. I did not work hard on anything. I was just consuming content. And that's the perfect state to be in if you want to ruin your life. If you do this, if you stay in your comfort zone, you will never grow as a person. You will never grow out of this depressive state and you will keep ruining your life. It's fucking genius. If you stay in the same place, in the comfort zone, if you stay depressed, you will never achieve your goals with your one and only life and you ruin it. I'm a fucking genius, I know. Like and subscribe. I just told you how to ruin your entire life. It's very simple. If you want to ruin your life, simply keep having fun by watching pixels on a screen and staying at home all day and definitely not experiencing real life. Keep living in ignorance. Never read any books. Never consume any useful information because that will make you knowledgeable and when you're knowledgeable you start setting goals so please don't do that but if you do end up doing these two things we have one last resort and that is even if you know what to do stay in your comfort zone just don't leave it whatever happens if you want to keep ruining your life please stay in your comfort zone run from all suffering anytime you feel suffering pain in anything in life fear whatever negative emotion just run away Go the other direction. And that's the best way to ruin your life. If you found value in this video, then join the movement. Become a purposeful man. Subscribe for more of this type of content. And remember, if you don't achieve your purpose, nobody will. Be ruthless.